Example five, given vectors u, which has components negative two and five, and vector v, which has components four, three, find each of the following. So in part a, we need to find the new vector v minus u. You can do this geometrically by graphing it out, but the easiest thing to do is just do the algebra here. Okay, so remember we're subtracting two vectors, so the order matters. V needs to go first, so I'm going to write down the V vector, and then I'm going to subtract the U vector. So to subtract two vectors, the result will also be a vector. So to get the individual components, you need to subtract corresponding components. So to get the first component of the difference, I'm going to subtract the horizontal components. Okay, so this is going to be four minus a negative two. Okay, be careful here because you're subtracting a negative. And then for the vertical component of the difference, you're going to subtract the corresponding vertical components. Okay, it's going to be 3 minus 5. Okay, so the new vector v minus u, it will have components 4 minus a minus 2, that's going to be 6. And then its vertical component is going to be negative 2. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It's a lot easier to do it algebraically. All right, let's try the next one. Okay, so same two initial vectors, u and v. This time we're doing scalar multiplication in part b. Okay, so we're doing negative five times v. Okay, the result will also be a vector. Okay, so we're gonna do negative five times the vector v. To do scalar multiplication algebraically, you just need to go to each of the components and multiply by this scalar negative five. So we're gonna have negative five times four, and then we're gonna have negative five times three. Okay, so for the new vector, its horizontal component is gonna be negative five times four, which is negative 20, and its vertical component is gonna be negative five times three, which is negative 15. Okay, that is it, okay? This is the vector negative five times V, okay? Remember what this means, okay? If you had to draw this vector out, okay? If you had to draw the vector, uh, it would start at the origin, that would be its initial point, and then its terminal point would be located at the point, the xy pair, negative 20, negative 15, okay? Let's try the next one in part C, okay? This time we're doing negative 2 times u plus 4 times v, okay? So let's write it out here. Uh, this involves addition and scalar multiplication. We need to follow the order of operations. So we're going to go to each vector and perform the scalar multiplication first, and then we will add the results. Okay, so I'm going to write this out. I'm doing negative 2 times the vector u. The vector u is negative 2, 5. And then I'm adding 4 times the vector v. The vector v is 4, 3. Okay, so we're going to do the scalar multiplication on each of these guys. Okay, so I'm going to go to the first vector here. I'm going to go to the components negative 2 and 5 and multiply both of those guys by negative 2. Okay, so this is going to be negative 2 times negative 2. And then the vertical component, the new vertical component will be negative 2 times 5. Okay, so we've performed the scalar multiplication on the first vector. Then we're still going to have the plus sign in the middle. Now we're going to do the scalar multiplication on the second vector. Okay, so we're going to multiply both components, 4 and 3, by 4. So the horizontal component is going to be 4 times 4. The new vertical component is going to be 4 times 3. Okay, so let's simplify here. This first vector is going to be negative 2 times negative 2. That's 4. And then the vertical component here is going to be negative 10. And then we're adding the second vector, okay? Its new horizontal component is gonna be 16. Its new vertical component is gonna be 12, okay? So now we're adding these two vectors, okay? So we know we need to add corresponding components, okay? So let's add the horizontal components. So we're gonna get four plus 16. And then we're gonna add the vertical components. So negative 10 plus 12, okay? This will give us the new vector. 4 plus 16 is 20, and then negative 10 plus 12 is going to give us positive 2. 
okay? So this is the vector, the new vector, negative two times u plus four times v, okay? Let's try one more. This one has scalar multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We need to follow the order of operations. Make sure you write everything out. You are less likely to make a mistake, okay? So this is gonna be two times u, okay? U is negative two, five. And then we're gonna add v, okay? V is four, three. And then we're gonna do minus six v. Okay, so that's what this is going to look like if we just set it up, okay? Order of operations, we need to do all of the scalar, mu scalar multiplication first, okay? So let's go to this first vector, uh, negative two, five, both components are gonna be multiplied by two, okay? This is just doubling the length of vector u here, okay? So we're gonna get two times negative two, and then two times five, okay? We're gonna leave the middle vector alone and I'm going to leave the subtraction sign here, okay? So I'm gonna multiply both of the components four and three by positive six, okay? Because the negative sign is staying outside. So this is gonna be six times four and then six times three, okay? So I'm gonna go back and simplify here. This is gonna be negative four, 10. That's the first vector. We're leaving the middle vector alone and then we're subtracting this last vector, which will have components 24, 18, okay? So now we are just adding and subtracting vectors, okay? You have to follow the order of operations. Addition and subtraction are done together from left to right. So we're gonna do the addition first, and then we will do the subtraction. If we had had opposite signs, like if the subtraction had come first and the addition second, you would do the subtraction first because you do addition and subtraction together from left to right. So you do whatever comes first. You do it in order from left to right, okay? So like I said, for here, we're gonna start with addition. Okay, so let's combine, let's do negative 410 plus 43. Okay, so add the corresponding components. If I add the horizontal components, I'm gonna get negative four plus positive four. And then if I add the vertical components, I'm gonna get 10 plus three, okay? And then remember, I'm still subtracting this other vector. So don't forget about it. If I simplify, this is gonna be negative four plus four is zero. And then the vertical component will be 13, okay? We need to subtract. 24, 18, okay? So now we're subtracting two vectors. We just need to subtract corresponding components, okay? Subtract the horizontal components. This is gonna be zero minus 24, and then subtract vertical components, 13 minus 18, okay? This will be your final answer. The vector, the new vector will have a horizontal component of negative 24 and a vertical component of negative five. Okay, that's it.